And at first I was walking very quickly, and my mind was going like this. So it was more of a hike. But eventually I was able to, to calm it down, slow the walking, and really become aware of the steps, and become aware of even my breath. And then I remember laying down, uh, looking at the sky uh, outside this beautiful church. Um, and suddenly I thought, hmm, I've done pretty well. My, my anger has gone. I've, I've solved it now. And then I had one thought about the incident again. And then that led to another thought. Yeah, and also he said that before. And he, you know, and I very quickly went on the whole story, got engaged with the whole story about what had happened. And all of the anger was just, Wah! and I was so, no longer peaceful. And I realized, <coughs> okay, I've, I, I actually remember thinking to myself, you're, you're a terrible practitioner. You haven't dealt with your own But in fact, that wasn't true. It's just that I haven't realized, uh, you know, I just haven't understood the nature of this, this thing. So, but I was able to say, okay, this is, it was a really horrible feeling. When you're really in touch with anger, it's very unpleasant in, in, in yourself. And so I unhooked it from the story again, and I just went back to my breath. And again, I was able to calm it down. And I remember going back and thinking, I haven't really practiced that well because I didn't transform the anger and I didn't have all of these insights that I was supposed to have uh, that were told you know, in, by our teacher. When you cook your anger, you'll get this insight and all of this compassion will arise in you for the other person. And I didn't feel quite like that. But I had calmed it down. But the next day, um, you know, this is to say that sometimes the results are not quite how you, you think they should be. But the next day we were serving uh, ourselves at lunchtime, and this brother was opposite me. And as we were serving, and I looked at him, and I had the genuine desire to make friends. To, and so I looked at him and smiled, a very genuine smile. And he just looked down. And he couldn't. He wasn't ready for that <laughs> because he, even he's my elder brother. He hadn't practiced as well as me. <laughs> and, uh, I guess he didn't have the time. He was, he was too busy. <laughs> he was a very busy monk, uh, arranging for lots of other people to practice. Uh, but that's, I don't mean that he's a very wonderful brother. And we get on great. You know, and, uh, I, I really do respect him. I'm just playing. Um, but just in that particular instance, it seemed that I'd done some work that he hadn't done. And I was able to you know, smile to him genuinely, and he was not ready for that. And I recognized that immediately, he's not ready. And it was then that I had the insight, wow, well, that practice did mean something, it wasn't completely useless. So when uh, we do the practice, sometimes we feel, this isn't going anywhere, what's the point? I've got more important things to do. Maybe I should just punch him. <laughs> or maybe, uh, you know, I should just go out tonight and drink lots of alcohol uh, and forget about my worries like that. Uh, so sometimes we feel we try the practice and it doesn't seem to work. But what I would like to share about that story is also uh, trust in it and keep persevering and you may find some, some benefits come. And indeed, when we, we can have these very peak experiences where we really do calm down, supposing we go on a, a wonderful hike in a beautiful countryside along the coast, and we, take the, we really take the time to, to stop. Okay, would you like to make a, a stopping bell? Yeah. Three breaths in and out. Thank you for practicing to stop. 
with the sound of the bell with me. Um, I was just going to share that sometimes, as my experience, we can make very wonderful experiences with this practice. It's not all hard work. Um, but again, maybe we have to put in some time. Uh, I remember going hiking in Scotland when I was living in Scotland, and um, I hiked for a good six hours, and exactly the same thing of really feeling that I wasn't making any progress, but I was walking on my own, and I was really trying to pay attention to my breath and my steps, and, and trying to relax, <laughs> trying to let, my, let everything go. 